don't need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. My next question comes from Ghani. Ghani is from Israel. Ghani writes, we are renovating a 70s era apartment on a budget. We are looking to install a laminate kitchen, but we don't want too contemporary of a look. The designer at the kitchen place recommends that we do lower cabinets in a dark color and upper cabinets in a light color. One of the options is a midnight blue with a light khaki or a very light blue. She said the kitchen is going to look too heavy if we do only midnight blue. I think two-tone kitchens look like two different kitchens, like someone made a mistake. What's your take? Should I just go for one light shade? Should I do two tones? Should we do a midnight blue only? I've attached the plans for the kitchen. The kitchen faces south, so there's plenty of natural light. Thank you, Ghani. All right, so Ghani, I'm looking at the plans for the kitchen. And there's not a whole lot of cabinetry. So I'm not worried about this looking too, too dark. I do like two-toned kitchens personally. And I go along with the kitchen designer in recommending that you do the lighter color at the top and the darker color at the bottom. I feel like two-toned kitchens are pretty trendy. I feel like in 10 years, people are going to see a two-tone kitchen and be like, oh my gosh, that was so 2021. Uh, Remember during COVID when we did two-tone kitchens? And I also think blue cabinetry is having a moment right now that's potentially not going to be a lasting trend, right? Something that may be more of a flash in the pan. A lot of people are doing navy or dark blue cabinetry on the bottom or for their center island, and then doing like a gray cabinet on bottom and doing like a white cabinet on top, right? So the island is the color and the rest of the cabinetry is gray on the bottom, white on the top. That's a common theme that I'm seeing as well. If it totally floats your boat, go for it. Like if it's not trendy to you, if it's going to feel awesome to you, do that and do it with confidence because you get tons of natural light. But if personally you feel like two-tone kitchens are not good looking, if you feel like they don't look cohesive or they look like they came from two different worlds, then don't do it. You know, because making these renovation choices is expensive and it's not something that you want to do again for 10 to 15 years. You know, after 10 to 15 years, no matter what you've done, it's going to look dated. So make the choice you want Bearing in mind that it is a big investment. And I don't just think about the cabinets when I'm designing a kitchen. I also want to have the complete design schematic ready for me because each decision impacts the other. So what I mean by complete design schematic is you're going to want to choose your backsplash, your countertop, and your flooring. Also, if there's paint, you're going to want to consider that as well as the appliances. And so I don't make any one choice without thinking holistically. And also you want to think about what this kitchen opens up into. You know, if it's an open living dining concept um, and then you can see the kitchen from the dining area and from the living room, if you do choose to use a lot of midnight blue, you better be bringing that color around to the other rooms. If you don't plan on bringing any dark blue to the other areas, then I wouldn't recommend using it prominently in the kitchen if it's open to those areas. So again, you don't think about renovation choices one by one. You think about the entire space. In fact, if you want to like go off the deep end, as I like to do, I even look at the bathrooms. Now, of course, the bathrooms do not need to coordinate with the kitchen, but everything architecturally needs to look like it came from the same universe. It needs to look like it came from the same time period. It needs to look like it was considered by the same person who had a singular vision for the entire home, but expressed that vision in different ways throughout the space. So when I create a vignette for the kitchen, I either ask my clients, are you happy with your bathrooms? Can I see your bathrooms? 
or let's design the bathrooms at the same time if that's a project you're going to do in the next one to three years. So that way we can ensure that everything is on the same page. That is particularly important for resale value as people are looking through your home because even if everything looks a little bit dated, at least it will look homogenous. If you do everything at a different time from a different point of view, things are not only going to look dated, they're going to look mismatched and problematic. So Ghani, I hope that helped. Uh, you know, making renovation choices has a ripple effect, as Matthew pointed out. You know, you need to think about resell if you're going to be selling before that 10-year mark. Ask yourself some tough questions and make your own dreams come true because so much time, energy, money, and discombobulation is on the line that you want to make it worth it for yourself. You want to go home and be like, wow, I love this. So I would recommend you don't do two-tone kitchens if you don't like them. I like them, but you're not making my dreams come true. You're making your dreams come true. A big thank you to Aton and the Embassy who wrote our theme song. A shout out to Catherine Heller who owns the podcast shop and is our editor extraordinaire. We also want to thank Jenny Sunnison and her team at the Savvy Podcast Agency for their help with our social, our YouTube channel, and so much more. We also want to thank Uploft, which is our parent company who supports this podcast. And lastly, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all your support. <laughs>